Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin, and today I have something for the iPad Pro with me. But before we get into it, you guys are probably seeing this mic in the shot. This is the first time that I've actually had a mic in the shot. Usually it's somewhere out there, but I have noticed that my audio hasn't been that good in the last couple of episodes. So until I figure out how to put this mic somewhere off the screen and by the right mount, I'm probably going to keep it in there. Let me know if that's a good idea or if you guys think it's distracting. That's the word, distracting. Anyway, this right here is the bridge case. It's called the bridge uh, case for the iPad Pro Plus, something like that, bridge case Pro Plus, I think. So what makes this special, or makes it the plus version is the fact that it has a built-in trackpad, similar to what Apple did with, I just dropped the Apple Pencil. But similar to what I, Apple did with their iPad case right here, the iPad Pro case right here, um, this has that built-in trackpad and it's been working fantastic. I've been using it for the last uh, month, over a, little, over a month now, did a full video on it. If you guys wanna see that, I'll leave it linked down below in the description. But I just wanna get initial impressions on the Bridge Case Pro today. Uh, see how it fits in here, see what comes in the box, and then I'll probably do a review on it uh, down the road and after I use it for a couple of days. So, right off the bat, it just opens up like so. And you have the actual keyboard right here, and this thing feels good. It's built out of aluminum. Um, the keys, all right, so the keys feel good. And let me do like a quick comparison to these keys. All right, so the keys feel a little bit bigger, but they feel a little like, um, it's hard to describe. They feel like they're made, they're more rubberish. So when you touch it, they feel more rubbery. And when you touch these keyboards, they feel more like a finished solid plastic. I don't know how to describe that, but to be honest with you, both of them feel fine. But trackpad wise, they're about the same size. Um, I think the Apple trackpad feels a little bit better, um, but let me just take this thing out right here. All right, so this is the main device. Let's see what else comes in the packaging. You get a sticker, the bridge sticker, um, information packet, and then you get a back cover. So this back cover is supposed to stick on the back of your iPad and there's the cutout for the um, camera and it's like a little bit of protection but not a lot of protection so let's put it on real quick and see how that fits by the way i got this dope skin on my ipad it's from d brand i just love the way this thing looks All right, so it fits the iPad like this, and you'll see little grooves right here and little sections right here. I believe there are some magnets in there because this thing is not coming off, even if I hold it right here. Um, it's not coming off, so that's a good look. Um, and then this is the actual case keyboard. So um, it's got nothing on the left-hand side and nothing on the, well, actually it has a USB-C charging port on the right-hand side. I'm glad it's USB-C because the iPad is USB-C and everything should work. Another thing that I noticed is that there are function keys on top. So right on top, you'll be able to actually turn on the brightness on and off. You'll be able to adjust the playback music and have a bunch of, uh, a couple of other shortcuts right there for your keyboard. And then you have a dedicated Siri button. That's what they were advertising. So a dedicated voice assistant. So that's pretty good. Um, you got nothing else on the back right here. Everything is just clean finish. And then you have a clean finish on the front. You have a chamfered section right over here that you can use to lift the iPad up. And then you have the hinges. And the hinges are pretty tight. So that's good. They're not gonna, you know, fall off loosely. And then there's actual rubber inside so that once you stick your iPad, it's not going to scratch up the iPad. So we got this open. We got the back attached right here. So now let's attach this. All right, so you gotta apply it with some force. Like really, really push it down. 
but it still didn't line up. I don't know if you guys could see this. There's still a little lip here. And if you look at it sideways, you can see they're not lined up. So I have to push this down some more. So let me push it down and see how much tighter I can get. And you can actually see it better on the back right here. There's a little bit of a gap. So that's something to keep in mind. But let me push it down. Oh, this thing really requires some force. Okay, so after fiddling with this thing for some time, I finally got it in as tight that as I can. Uh, if you guys look right over there, see if I can get the camera to focus, you'll see that that's pretty tight in there. Um, same thing with the other side, it's pretty tight over there. But when you look at the top right here, you can still sort of see that there is this lip and that it's not perfectly aligned. Um, but that's that's the case um, that does give a little bit of space right here where the groove is you still cannot lift this thing up with one finger so you still have to hold the bottom um, but once it opens up and let's put this thing back on there okay so once you open it up gotta power it on and get it all connected and stuff so let me do that real quick so there's literally no juice left in this thing I tried to power it on and it doesn't come on and that sucks because I wanted to test out real quick the trackpad the keyboard and how everything functions but I can't do that I literally got it this afternoon and then I just was so excited to make a quick initial impressions video about it so that's what this is gonna be so let me just look at the way it fits and the way it feels I will do a full review after I used it for about a week and I will be comparing it to the Apple Magic Keyboard. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, but this thing, honestly, it feels more like an actual um, MacBook or, you know, a MacBook. It feels like a laptop. Um, it's a little bit bigger and heftier than the Magic Keyboard. You're going to notice that right away. Um, it's as thick as the actual iPad is so that's that um, it's got that like like I said that nice finish on the back with this leather thing I don't know if you like it or don't you could take it off you can put it back on that's really easy to do um, but holding it and using it the hinge is nice and also another thing that it does is when you hinge it out it actually levit you know it actually pulls up the back of the actual keyboard and I don't know if that's gonna help with ventilation or anything like that because I don't see any vent ports for the keyboard or for the iPad but that's something that actual laptops do where they lift the back up for ventilation and this thing seems to do that and that's why I actually think this feels more like a laptop um, the only downfall that I noticed right away is the putting it in and taking it out like like you gotta apply some force to this thing and taking it out was a lot easier than trying to put it in because putting it in yeah putting it in sucks Ooh, sorry if that was loud but yeah putting it in definitely sucks so this thing actually has a lot of potential um, but right now, I'm still leaning towards the Magic Keyboard. Uh, there is a price difference, if I didn't mention it. This thing is $229. Magic Keyboard, you guys already know, it's three, uh, $299. So that it's a lot cheaper. But that just seems more convenient with putting it in and out and just, you know, so far. I will test it for a week. Let me know if there is something that you guys want me to focus on by leaving a comment in the comment section down below during the review period. Um, if you, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If it's your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.